what your body gotta do. What? Hey what's up guys, it's Sinu back on video, so yesterday I made a video on how to make a really cool YouTube banner, a Galaxy YouTube banner and so many of you guys loved it and you guys showed the really really awesome support on that video so because of that I thought I'd do a video on how to make a really cool Galaxy logo on Android so as always you are going to be using Adobe Photoshop Touch if you don't have Adobe Photoshop Touch, the link is in the description below download Adobe Photoshop Touch for free, install it and you will have something like that open it up, then hit on that button on the bottom and create a brand new blank document and make sure that the project the the resolution of your project is 1000 by 1000 just like so and hit on ok and once you guys done that you need to go ahead and hit on that and sign right over there on the top once you guys hit on it go ahead and just choose the gradient effect and once you hit on a gradient effect you will have this template right over here now this is not the template that we are going to work with so you need to go ahead and just choose this template right over here it should be installed on uh, like uh, the photoshop touch by default okay once you guys done that hit on that button on the bottom right corner or bottom left corner sorry and once you guys done that hit on that list tab and hit on radial type and once you guys done this as you can see you can go ahead and just make this circle even bigger so make sure that it is as big as that and once you guys done that hit on the check mark button and once you are done what you can do is you can go ahead and hit on that end sign and use the text tool to add your very own text now you need to add the first letter of your very own uh, channel so my channel is Sinu so the first letter is Sinu but I don't recommend you use the text tool on Adobe Photoshop Touch because Adobe Photoshop Touch has a really really bad like fonts on it you can't actually make a really professional logo so what I suggest you to do is to go ahead to the link in the description below and see my full tutorial on how to install custom fonts on your very own Adobe Photoshop Touch and basically go ahead and add your very own letter and just place it on the center just like that and once you guys done that you need to go ahead and make sure that it's not that it's not that big and it's not that small make sure that it is medium and it is on the center all right once you guys done that you need to go ahead and add a brand new empty layer by pressing on that plus button and hit on empty layer and once you guys done that go ahead and just uh, select the the circle selection tool and once that done, you need to go ahead and just make sure that you go and just put a perfect circle right over here and hit on that end sign. And once you guys done that, you need to go ahead and hit on fill and stroke effect. And once you guys done that, you need to go ahead and hit on type and switch the fill to stroke. And once you guys done that, you'll have a circle just like that. So make sure you go ahead and just increase the stroke just like that. So I suggest you around 30 px. And once you guys done that, you go ahead and just deselect it and transform it and make sure that your uh, circle is actually surrounding your very own letter just like so. So once you are actually done with that, what you can do is you're going to go ahead and now just hit on that layers manual and make sure that your letter is actually above your very own circle just like that and once you guys done that you need to go ahead and hit on that layers tab and hit on that layers tab again and make sure that you hit on merge down so you will have one layer that, uh, that contains your very own logo and you can go ahead and just hit on that effect button and add to it a drop shadow if you want and as you can see right over here we are actually done so the next step you're gonna go ahead and just import a galaxy wallpaper into your very own project so if you go to a Google Images, there's so many of them. So choose the one that you like and import it to the Photoshop Touch, and make sure that you cover it up. You cover up the logo with it, just like that. And once that's done, guys, you need to go ahead now and just select uh, the go to the bottom right corner and make sure that you uncheck it by pressing on that circle right over here till it will be visible. Then uh, just go ahead and select your very own logo and hit on that uh, like uh, magic wand tool. So once you hit on it, make sure that this option is actually unselected. So once you actually done with that, you need to go ahead and just select the your very own logo till you will find all the like white uh, areas are actually selected. You need to go ahead now and hit on that uh, like galaxy wallpaper and check it or make it visible like that and hit on that button right over there on the top and hit on extract and once you hit on extract you will have a brand new logo with like a brand new theme and it looks really awesome as you can see so make sure now that you go ahead and get rid of that white logo because we don't need it anymore so go ahead and just delete it and as you can see our drop shadow is removed but anyways next step go ahead and just make sure that you are on the pyologian selection tool on the bottom left corner and once you are on the pyologian selection tool hit on that mod it says that plus symbol on it and now go ahead and just select a tiny spot from your very own logo so i don't know why but this effect makes the logos looks really really awesome so we will see at the end the result anyways make sure that you go ahead and just select some spots from your very own logo 
and make sure that you they are not that thick they are not that big then make sure that it is actually really tiny as you can see and once you are actually done with that hit on that button uh, right over there on the top and it's going to pop this brand new list so hit now on clear and at the end you will have something like that so let me go ahead and just deselect it so as you can see it doesn't look that good at all so to make it look really good you need to go ahead and hit on that effects button right over there and hit on drop shadow and once you hit on drop shadow as you can see it looks really awesome it gives us that like uh, elevating like effect and I love the galaxy texture as well so as you can see it looks really badass and it's going to look really awesome on your channels so I guess that's the part for this video guys but before I end up this video guys please go to the comment section below and let me know in the comment section below what you guys would like to see next on Adobe Photoshop Touch I will appreciate it anyway guys so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys enjoyed it please drop a like down below that would mean a lot for me also guys check my channel out because there are a lot of amazing and daily videos in there subscribe to my channel if you didn't join me already and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Peace out.